Hi, this is Jack Brabham for Wellington Live, reporting on our Men of Wellington series. I'm sitting here with All White and Torino midfielder Matt Garbett. Hi, Matt. How are you doing today? Yeah, all good, thank you. How about you? Yeah, doing good, thank you. Well, now that a little bit of time has passed since the game against Costa Rica in Qatar, what are your thoughts on the results of that match? Yeah, look, it was unfortunate um, we couldn't get the result. I thought we played un unbelievably well. Um, probably the best that an all-whites team has played. Um, we dominated, we had many chances, and we were a bit unfortunate with some of the referee calls, but um, what can you do? Um, I thought we did ourselves proud and New Zealand proud, so that's all we can ask for. Yeah, we saw how close you were to equalising with your assist um, for Chris Wood in the first half. What was going through your head when the ref was checking the VAR? Um, I knew, I thought it would be, get, it'd get taken up to VAR. Um, it was a, a, definitely a very debatable call. It could have gone either way, but um, I think if the referee doesn't call it initially, I think it's too marginal to be overturned. But look, um, it's over now. Um, there's no point complaining, but it was definitely unfortunate. And um, obviously after the goal, we all buzzing and celebrating, but there was always that slight, slight chance that it would be overturned. Yeah, what are your thoughts on the, the journey, the experience um, of the team going through the playoffs? Um, you know, I'm sure you guys are all pretty close, close knitted now after going through something like that. Yeah, we've been all together since what? It's been about two years. Um, I think we were all in the Olympic setup, most of us. And then that's carried right on through from the October, the Bahrain tour, and then the Abu Dhabi one in November, leading on to January, and then March ultimately in the, in the qualifiers, Oceania qualifiers. And then we did a two-week camp in Spain, so I thought we were, we were, quite, we were quite close. We know everyone quite well, um, some that I've grown up with a long time. Um, and then, you know, the team culture is very good, so obviously we're all very, very good with each other. Yeah, well, that's, that's great. I'm sure you're aware that FIFA's changed the format for the World Cup for the 2026 tournament. Do you think that will give New Zealand the edge to get into the tournament, um, you know, now? Yeah. Definitely, it's exciting, you know. It's a bit unfortunate for some of the older boys that maybe won't get to experience a World Cup. Um, but ultimately, for the young boys coming through, it's definitely very exciting. Um, something that, you know, footballers want to do is, is play in a World Cup, and not everyone gets that dream. But, um, yeah, the next few years will, will definitely be good for um, young footballers coming through New Zealand. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm sure you'll come back stronger. Well. You know, some would say you're living the dream playing football overseas professionally. Um, it's, you know, it's kind of a long way from Wellington, um, Western suburbs. Where do you see yourself playing in the next few years? Are you staying in Italy or do you see yourself moving on? Yeah, look, ultimately, um, I enjoyed my um, last 10 months in Italy at Torino. Um, definitely enjoyed the league, the culture. Um, I picked up Italian over there now, so nice. um, sort of had to, but... I'm not sure, you know, I, I do want to experience a lot of Europe, um, test myself in Europe, depending on which countries, but um, I'm just sort of living in the prison and just seeing where things go at the minute, so. Mm. No, that's, that's great. How have you found the culture change and, I guess, lifestyle that's very focused um, on football and, and things like that? Is it quite different to living, living in Wellington? A oh, massive, massive difference, you know. Um, the Italians are... <laughs> A lot different to the, the New Zealanders. The mindset's very different. Um, and, you know, the culture itself, like everyone's, you know, football football dominant. Um, they love football. Um, even, like, just being in the streets, you know, people are massive supporters of, you know, I live in Torino, so massive supporters of Juventus and Torino. And, yeah, I enjoyed the culture, you know. I was in the centre, um, enjoyed going out, you know, obviously the, the classic stereotypes of pasta, pizza, you know, it's always it's good over there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it, it was good. It was good. Now, that, that sounds great. I, I saw a few English clubs were linked um, to you, um, you know, this over the season. Do you see yourself moving over to the Premier League? Yeah, obviously that's every every footballer's dream. Um at the moment, I'm just sort of enjoying my holiday um, in Wellington uh, and uh, just leaving it to my agents. And obviously, there's a few decisions that need to be made. Um, but ultimately, yeah, England is the place to be and it's just about the timing now. Mm. If you had one club to choose for, 
Uh, so if you had one club to play for in England, where would you go? Well, I'm actually born in Chelsea, London, Chelsea, but um, I've grown up with a family um, that's uh, a fan of Manchester United. But I would say Chelsea because it's in London and I've always wanted to live in London for yeah. um, when I grow up. So. No, that would, be, that would be an amazing experience. Well, thanks for chatting to us today, Matt. Um, we wish you all the best from everyone here in Wellington um, and good luck with the upcoming season. Cheers, appreciate it. Cheers, thanks. That's been Jack Brabham for Wellington Live and Men of Wellington.